this is uh, Shadow. She came in because her owner noticed that she wasn't her normal perky self. In fact, when she touched her, she was actually a wee bit sore around the back leg, which she's not too bad now. But what we did notice on the table after examining her is she's actually got a little bit of flea poo. So I'm going to show you a flea poo check that I think everyone should do, especially if they're a black cat, because you can't often see fleas or flea poo on a black animal or a dark animal. You can't lie down and make yourself at home, so that's brilliant. So I've already pre-wet under a tap, cold water or warm water, whatever, just a piece of paper towel. And then we just shake the cat like you're just giving it a good old rub. And often you will see some little flecks of black, a bit like pepper, flicking off from the coat onto the table. So we've got a little bit there. And here is one that we've actually done a few minutes ago. And as you can see, the black flecks have actually dissolved and produced a red mark. Now, fleas suck blood, so their poo is actually digested blood. So that is proof that you've actually got fleas. You may not see the flea themselves running along the cat, but this is proof that you've got a reasonable um, population of fleas there. Don't you think, Shadow? So, the other little giveaway is on the table, you can see little curly ones. We've got more flea poo here. And the wee curly ones means that it's flea poo and not dirt. So nature's dirt is never curly. So that's our flea poo check. So you can do that once a week and see what your population's like. And ideally you keep them on a regular flea treatment every month anyway. So this is my paper towel flea trick. You can see that the flea poo has now dissolved and turned into a reddy brown. And we've even been lucky enough to find a flea. Um, it's a bit slower, obviously they're usually quicker than this. So this is George, he's come in today because he's been sore around his neck. And we've actually found another couple of bite wounds, still on there. And we've also noticed on the table, he's got a whole lot of flea poo. So as I've sort of said before, if they're curly ones, like that one, then um, they, and that one, that one's beautiful like a comma, then that will have to be flea poo. And so we get a paper towel and just dampen it and then we shake the cat and it all flicks onto the paper towel just like pepper. Just like that. Boy. And then we just leave that to marinate for about 30 seconds and here's another one which we've already done earlier. And you can see that the black little flecks have now turned into reddy brown marks. So that is uh, flea poo, because fleas suck blood, so their poop is uh, uh, digested blood. So that's really amazing. Um, so we're going to put a wee flea treatment on him. And I actually go quite high up on the head. I'm going to do that today because um, he's got his wounds as well. So we just twist the top, pull apart, squirt it on. And then what I actually do is squidge just so it doesn't run off. So that's fun.